Welcome back to another behind the sound video on the Audi R8. In today's video, we're walking you around a little bit more about the fabrication side, what's involved on the custom sound system that we're working on. Inside the car, the boys have already been working very, very hard on the vehicle so far. So inside the vehicle, Lewis has been fabricating the actual sub box itself behind here. So you would have seen in the previous video a little bit about how that's been forming together, where the amp's being located. Uh, James at the moment is running some of the cables into the doors to run into the speakers so if we head round into here what we've got is the actual six and a half inch Audison Voce driver down in here so this is built into a custom baffle then we've got the Audison Voce tweeter which is going to be sitting up in a stock location up here this is the new connections wiring that's basically fed directly from the amplifier directly to the new speaker following alongside manufacturer wiring to get into there. Reason why we do that is not only for future proofing, also anyone else working on the vehicle, like even Audi working on the vehicle, they can see directly exactly where we've been, exactly what we've done, but also just in terms of neatness behind the scenes. It's very important that obviously a lot of people install stuff to very high standards. However, a lot of the stuff cosmetically, yeah, it might look great, but it's all about what actually goes on behind the scenes, what's hidden away. And that's what these videos are all about, showcasing exactly what we do. Don't hide anything, literally showcase absolutely everything. So the soundproofing has been done in the doors on this system. And this particular door itself on the system we're doing, because we're using a Hertz Miller Power 5 amplifier, two, two tweeters going in at the top, two drivers down in the door, and then we've got the sub. However, the system came with Bang & Olsen from stock, so it had the mid-range in the door. What we're doing, we've disconnected it, taping up that connector so it's not gonna rattle or do anything wrong. However, we're actually leaving that in place. Reason for that is, is because inside the door, the way this door is built, because it's not being used, rather than take, disconnecting it and having a hole in this location, we're actually leaving it in because what it's doing is basically creating kind of a better sealed enclosure inside this door to let this six and a half inch driver perform that little bit better. Yes, it's only a marginal difference that it's gonna be, but it's well worth having uh, in there, just leaving as it is, just to kind of create a little bit more of a sealed unit inside the door. Aesthetically and cosmetically, you're not gonna see it at all. It's gonna be hidden away by the door card and the factory grill is obviously gonna still maintain there, but also it will allow a little bit more of the six and a half inch driver sound to output through. So that's basically the doors. James is just about to put the door card back on. Whenever we're putting a door card back on, all the clips and everything that go back on, they all get taped to go back on even more securely. So all the clips and stuff will be definitely more secure when they're going back on, but also that's basically to stop with resonation and also getting rid of those rattles that nobody really wants. So that's basically inside the door. The sub box is the main thing we're gonna be focusing on today in today's video and showcasing a little bit more about what we're actually doing on there so this is the foundation of it down to here we've built these like little blocks and stages to build up where the sub box is actually going to be sitting so it's going to be directly live in the middle then we're going to build our beauty panel that sits above and goes alongside this curvature to go around here on this particular vehicle it did have rear speakers because it had the bang and olsen system which we are basically deleting we're not going to have them there because we've got the sub behind us we've got the two-way front end and it's going to be loads of clarity coming from that front end with a little bit of bass performing right nice really behind right between the seats it's going to look absolutely special spectacular but also the customer was after something like a stealth look that's exactly what we're doing so we're going to head into the fabrication room now I'm going to be shocking you around the actual sub box the reason why we're doing it in the way that we are and also going through all of that in a bit more detail so we've got Steve with us at the moment. What we're going to be talking you around is the actual sub box itself. So this is the sub box for the Audi R8. Yes, it's quite a small box. The reason why that is because we're adding in something called the Audison Prima 18 sub. So it doesn't need massive amounts of volume to perform perfectly. So Steve's going to talk you through a little bit more about the actual sub box design, why we've designed it, and what's the process of basically building a custom sub box. This is the foundation of it, and then there's going to be a beauty panel that covers it all, hides everything, and it also this is all yet to be finished obviously these videos are all about being behind the scenes showcasing you exactly what goes on behind a custom sound system so this is all for the Audi R8 uh, this is the 8 inch Prima sub box we've also done all the calculations for how the sub box needs to be built and designed everything gets designed specced and then installed completely in-house and this is our little fabrication area where a lot of the woodwork a lot of the fabrication stuff happens so hand over to Steve who's working at the moment on a Lamborghini speaker ring and that is actually live on our channel already for the actual uh, behind the sound video for the speaker ring so make sure you go check that out by hitting the subscribe button as well but over to you Steve. 
Well, we're making subs for boxes for the subs. Um, every sub has to be for a specific calculation. So we take the volume requirements by the manufacturers, transfer that into a volume for the sub box, then work out the height and the depth. Now the slope on the back of it, most people would assume that's for angle in the back of the speaker to fit against the car seat from the traditional subwoofers. It's actually there to create a non-parallel rear panel to the sub box. So any sound waves on the speaker um, are not reflected directly back at the speaker again to prevent a firm term called sound wave cancellation. Yep, that's the one. Perfect, so that's a little bit more of an overview on the sub box design itself. These are all sorts of things that happen behind the scenes, guys. So the knowledge our team have is absolutely exceptional. We set new levels day in and day out. So if you are interested in something like this, having this done to your vehicle, whether it's an R8 or completely other vehicle, you know exactly what to do. Drop us a message on any of our social media platforms. We're more than happy to go through all of the options via an audio consultation with you, where I'll sit down, design spec, and then we'll install your new custom sound system. But thank you very much, guys, for watching. We'll see you soon.